Okay, in this video, I want to talk about um, machine zero, work zero, and setting up something called G28 on a, a Gerbil-based machine like this X-Carve or a Shapeoko or whatever. This is a model that I downloaded from GrabCAD of the X-Carve, and so I'm just going to show a few things uh, on the digital model, and then we'll take a look on the actual machine. So when you have limit switches, like are shown in the model here, and you zero the machine, you're going to end up in this position. And this position is what would be known as the machine zero. So then from here, everything else is relative to this point. So if, I had mo if this moves off somewhere into space and then was to go back to machine zero, you'd always end up back here. So this would be machine zero. Now, typically before you run any job with the universal G-code sender or easel or whatever, you're gonna always jog the machine and set it at this point, right? So in this case, I was gonna machine this little block uh, pocket out. This is my stock. Usually what I do is I move the machine to this point and then I set, I set the zero on the X, Y, and Z axis and then all the G code that I would run to cut out this pocket would be relative to this point. So for most operations and you might think that well it doesn't really matter what machine zero is because everything I do is relative to the workpiece zero which is true for just cutting this except it's not true for one thing which is called uh, the reference point or uh, G28. So my reference point is some other position in space. You can call it like a safe position, a reference point, um, the return, the return to zero point. And so if this is machine zero, let's say for whatever reason I want to set my um, return point to be here, maybe just a little bit in, um, but still with Z all the way up. This is going to be like a safe point that you can always go to. Now imagine, of course, this is an X, Y, and Z position. Let's say um, you know I was going to cut this part. The first move in my G code might be to go somewhere over here, right? Like right over to the edge of this pocket, and then it's going to come down in and machine around inside, right? So if I was up at that safe point, and then I move over and come down, that's fine, but what if I was, what if when I hit send on um, in Universal G Code Sender, what if the machine was arbitrarily like right here and I just hit send? Well, the first thing it's going to do is go to that first position, and when it goes in, you know, there's a real good chance it might just go like that, right? And just crash right through the part on its way up to the first position in your file. I mean, you know depends on how the file set up exactly how that's going to work but the thing that happens with G28 when you send the G28 G91 Z0 is it basically tells the machine to go uh, just r up to the Z0 relative to G28 so you're basically saying no matter what the first thing I want you to do is go up to your Z home position and then go over to wherever the first point in your G code is. The idea is, is that you don't end up like crashing into, you might have some, you know, clamps or whatever other uh, things out on your work area. You don't want to crash into it. So the first thing you're doing is saying, go up to here and then go in and go down and start cutting. And then when you're done cutting out the pocket at the end of the G code, you'll usually see like first thing is uh, G28, G91, Z0, which will say go up and then G28 X0 Y0 now come back over here to um, your home position so that's kind of G28 in practice now here's why you have to have a machine zero set up to use G28 so if I've zero my machine properly and then I say that my G if this was zero say right here and then I say that G28 is, I don't know, right here. Fine, whatever. Um, it's still saying that that is, that G28 is, uh, say, one inch 
in X, one inch in Y, and zero inches in Z from machine zero. Now, what if my machine was like over here when I turned it on? So if you don't home your machine and you turn it on and the spindle was over here, you turn on the machine. When you first turn it on, machine zero is wherever the spindle is at the time you turn it on. So this would be machine zero. And then it would say, oh, G28 is uh, zero in Z and one inch in X and one inch in Y from this point. So if it thinks that this is machine zero, then G28 is gonna be like over here. And so if you were, say, had the spindle right here, and then you said G28 Z zero, it would think that actually to get to that point, it needs to bring the spindle down. And so then that's how you end up crashing into your material, as I did the first many times I did this before I understood how to set up G28. So the moral of the story is, if you're not running a consistent machine home, then G28 isn't going to work for you because it's always going to be, G28 is a position in absolute coordinates relative to the machine zero. So you need to have it set up where you zero the machine, then move to a G28. If you don't zero the machine home, then I would recommend going into the post-processor and turning it off. So if we look at uh, you know, this part right here, if we actually look at the G code to run this part, so I've got um, you know, a couple of simple operations here. You can look at, this is in the Fusion's cam, so I've got a simple pocket cleaning operation. Now if I was gonna go to post-process this, I would right-click, post-process. I'm gonna select my post, which in this case is uh, the Gerbil post um, for my X-Carve. And then here in the options, I have this option, use G28 or don't use G28. If I say use G28, then I'll post this out. Call this simple pocket. Now we're going to look at this. It's going to bring the code up in a browser, and I can see at the very beginning, I see right here, I got this line G28, G91, Z0. That's basically say go to the Z position of um, the point that I've set with G28, point one. And then at the very, then we go, we'd cut out the whole pocket, finish it, et cetera, et cetera. And then at the very end, we would see G28, G91, Z0. So again, basically raise the spindle up to the zero position of G28 and then move to the X and Y uh, zero at set at that return point. So you're basically gonna move the spindle out of the way of the part. Now again, imagine if you, machine zero was at some random position and then it tried to go to this G28, it could end up, again, this is where you end up like crashing into the, you just finished cutting everything and then this guy right here is the one that's gonna end up totally crashing your part at the end because it doesn't know where it's really going. So again, uh, if you're still unsure about whether you wanna use this or you're not using um, limit switches or something like that, then I would recommend going in and uh, again, when you go to post process, come in here and uncheck use G28. Okay, so let's take a look at this on the actual machine. So if, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna first turn the machine on and then I'm going to open the connection. You'll see when I do this, so now look, machine position is zero and it's just at some arbitrary point out there in the workspace. Uh, again, machine zero gets set to zero as soon as you turn it on. And you'll notice in uh, Universal G-Code Center, it says active state alarm. That's basically saying, don't do anything because you haven't homed the machine yet. Uh, if I was to go to G28 right now, uh, who knows what would happen? I'd probably crash the machine or uh, overload one of the axes or something because you have no idea where you are or where G28 is uh, from where I'm at. So just to like really uh, emphasize this point, I guess I would say is, let me do this. Let me um, 
move the X. Uh, first, I'll have to clear the alarm. So let me move the X like one inch to the left. It's in millimeters. So now I think I'm at X minus 26.4, so about an inch to the left. Now I'm going to send G28.1. Okay, so now I just set my machine position. And now let me move to some random place. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the machine off. Turn it back on again. Open the connection. Again, now, so wherever I am now, machine position thinks it's in zero. And then if I go to, first clear the alarm, then if I go send it to G28, it should just go about one inch to the left in X. And you see that it does. So now, again, that really kind of shows that the G28 position is relative to the machine home position. So again, if I turn the machine off again now, and turn it back on again, and I was to go execute that command again, you'd see that X just moves over again to the left. So you can see how if your machine zero is always in some arbitrary place, then G28 is always going to be that delta to that position. Hope that makes sense. So to do this properly, what we would do now is come in here. I'm going to home first home the machine. So we'll home the machine, which is dollar H. Now you can see the machine uh, has been homed. I think I actually have something, uh, I need to change a setting in Gerbil because my machine home is always at uh, minus 289, minus 289. But regardless, everything is still fine. All that matters is that you have a, uh, all that matters is that you have a consistent reference point. So now what I would do is I'm going to say, just for the point purpose of this, I'll say that I want to set the return position to be somewhere over here. So I'll go maybe X and Y one inch and Z up at the top where it is. That's good. So now what I'm going to do is again issue that G28.1 and now that's going to fix this position. So now if I was to move the machine off into some arbitrary place And I now give it the command G28. It's going to move back to the position that I want. OK, so now it would just be a matter of coming in here, um, setting my work zero. So we'll do that real quick. Not going to be super accurate about this because I'm just trying to get close here. So, again, here I would set my work zero. So, again, work zero is here. That's at some relative position to the machine position. Once I start machining now, you know, as far as the G code's concerned, it's all relative to this zero point, except for the one thing that when I go browse for um, my pocket that I made earlier, remember, you know, this work position has been set, but it could be the machine could be anywhere. 
and then now I send this file and it's going to go to the G28 position first. And there you have it. That's all you need to know for setting up G28.